Parliament cannot be the plaything of any Prime Minister or indeed any government. This government has done a number of things that concern me deeply. They have broken the law. I have in mind the illegal prorogation of Parliament for which I went to the Supreme Court. They have uh, broken treaties. I have in mind the Northern Ireland Protocol. They have broken their word on many occasions. The one that I find most odious was the cut in overseas aid, which was uh, uh, a statutory requirement to make and was cut long before Parliament gave permission for it. And whenever they run up against difficulties with anybody, whether it is the Supreme Court, the Electoral Commission, the BBC, they react not with an understanding, not with trying to placate what has gone wrong, but actually in rather a hostile fashion. And that's why I say it is profoundly unconservative and something I dislike intensely. You know, an extraordinary poll in the Daily Mail today, carried out by JL Partners, 57% of people agree with the statement Britain is in danger of becoming a corrupt country. Can tackling that be entrusted to this Prime Minister? Oh, well, this is the Prime Minister we have, and uh, he will have to tackle it. But it can start with the way he treats Parliament. I'm afraid the government, with their over-large majority, do tend to treat Parliament with contempt. The Parliament, at present, has given the Prime Minister a very large majority. But he would be very unwise to forget that he got his extraordinary majority of 80 seats with less than 30% of the people entitled to vote. If he wishes to bring even the electoral system into total disrepute, he has to recognize that he does not have the majority opinion uh, at his side that a majority of 80 in the House of Commons would seem to imply. He has nothing like that and he should tread very carefully. I'm very well aware that the extreme Brexiteers will say, well, there he is, bitter old Ramona. That old mantra will be repeated. And, and let me say it's partly true. I am old and I'm most certainly a Remainer.